everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to another week in private practice. How much fun is this? So you will have seen uh, I've changed the banner on the top of our group um, with this month's theme. So this month's theme is um, supporting you guys in learning how to be more visible with your private practice. So uh, today what I want to do is um, give you three things that you can do immediately that will help you be more visible and get better numbers in the next 30 days. Okay, so I'm just going to go through them quickly because I know you're all super busy. So the first thing is, number one, you need to um, go where your clients are at and you need to start having conversations with them. So um, if they're on LinkedIn and you're dealing with corporate clients, please start spending some time on LinkedIn and actually having conversations with people. You're not selling anything. You're not. No, just get to know people. Just start relationship building. That's all it is. That's step one. Step two is, I've written them all down, what have I said here? Uh, be consistent with your scheduling. Um, be consistent with your posting, I mean. So if you're like me, I come in our group, uh, for example, you know I'm gonna be here every Monday at 1 p.m. giving you a bite-sized training of action steps you can go away and implement for your practice. You guys can count on that. You know I'm gonna be here, you know I'm gonna show up. Your audience needs the same from you. You don't have to be here every day. Like, I'm not here every day for you doing videos. I can if you want me to, but I'm not. I come every Monday, one o'clock, it's a thing. So you have to be the same with your audience because we want them to trust you, we want them to be able to count on you, and we want them to be able to rely on you. Um, and the easiest way to do that, the action step for this, is to decide on a scheduling um, schedule timetable that's going to work for you, okay? Now, when it comes to social media, I post on Facebook every single day, but that works for me. I happen to like posting on Facebook. It's not a big deal for me to do that. I've recently started um, Instagram, and um, you know, I do think that's a big deal for me, so I pre-write all of my posts and then I schedule them to go out once a day. So think about what's gonna work for you and think about what's gonna work for your audience. The other thing to know too is how does your audience really like to receive information from you? Um, do, does your audience really like a video with some subtitles so they can see you but not have to listen, they can just read the subtitles? Or do your audience like to read? So they're gonna be better with you blogging than you being on Facebook. Um, so think about how your audience likes to receive information. I know a lot of my clients are trying to start private practices plus raise families. So I know I have to do short things because a lot of you guys, a lot of you are mums. You don't have an hour or 90 minutes to sit down with me each week and do a training. So I know you want something short. I know it's got to have subtitles uh, and I know it's got to be an action oriented thing because you're all wanting to make progress. So that's what I know you like. So you have to know what your audience like and need as well. Okay, and then the third step is to share your content everywhere that you can. If you use the, like if you're on Facebook for example, if you use the Facebook app, you will be able to record a video and you can share it to your business page, share it to a group, you can share it in our group if you like here, I don't mind, I'm here to support you and if that means you sharing a group from, you sharing a video in the group from time to time, go for it, that's fine. We're all in this together, we all wanna support each other, just don't mark it in the group. Um, but the other thing too is, when you do your video, share it to groups, share it to your business page, share it to your pages story, which you can do on the Facebook app, can't do it on the desktop, I don't think, and share it to your personal story. And then, what you can do also is download that video and then go and put it onto IGTV if your audience spends time on Instagram. So, and the other thing that you can do is when you've um, downloaded it, you can then also share that to YouTube. It's not hard to do. And if this is going to, you know, if you're not a technical person um, or if you don't have the time, outsource it. Pay somebody 10 week, $10, you know, a week on Fiverr to, you know, do this for you. It doesn't cost much money at all. There are people who are very skilled, very quick at doing it, could do it a lot quicker than you can. 
but the value in sharing and repurposing existing content is it's going to help you automate your branding and your marketing. It's going to help you increase your reach. It's going to help you build know, like, and trust with your audience. And over time, what you'll see is your numbers of followers will start to increase. Your number of engagements will start to increase. The number of your inquiries will start to increase. So there are three action steps that you can go away and implement today and you will start to see improvements in your visibility within 30 days or less. Okay, so I'm so excited for you. Let me know how you go. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just pop them in the comments below. Um, I'm only sharing these um, tips with, with you. So yeah, because I want you to win and I want you to be successful in your private practice. But if you get stuck, let me know, okay? Have a great day. I hope this was really helpful for you. Bye.